Now to the ship that's making headlines around the world, a full-size replica of Noah's Ark under construction in the Netherlands. NBC's Janet Shamlin is there. Janet, good morning. Hi, Lester. Good morning to you. We are about an hour outside of Amsterdam. It's a small town that's getting a lot of attention because what's being built here? It is a colossal Noah's Ark getting so much attention with all the construction going on. You might say it's a bit of a zoo. It looks like something out of a movie, and it is Hollywood huge. Get on the Ark! Everyone on the Ark now! But this is not a scene from the comedy Evan Almighty. It is a long way down, isn't it? Looming large over a small river in the Netherlands, a massive creation inspired by, of all things, a bad dream. I dreamed that a part of Holland was flooded. Then the next day, I get the idea to build an Ark of Noah. A builder by trade, oh, yeah, yeah. Johan Weavers has constructed a real-life Noah's Ark, built to biblical scale and using the ancient measure of cubits, a man's arm from his elbow to fingertips. In modern terms, it's the length of a football field and four stories high. Unless you're standing right in front of it, it's hard to conceive just how big the Ark is. Think small cruise ship. Designed as a tourist attraction with a religious message, it's been three years in the making. Now months from finishing, they're down to the details. They're all life-size. All life-size, unbelievable. What did this cost? Oh, $11,000. For one elephant? For, for one elephant only. So you have a lot of money invested yes. in fake animals, don't you? Can't you can't imagine, yeah. Not all the animals are of the plastic variety. Two chickens? Yep. Johan says he'll eventually stock the ark with more live pairs. Of course, there are some things you may not want two of. Johan's ark has proven seaworthy, but how realistic is this Dutchman's dream of doom? Because of global warming, the concept of a flood happening here is not unheard of. Al Gore predicted as much in the movie An Inconvenient Truth. If Greenland broke up and melted, this is what would happen to the sea level in the Netherlands. Absolutely devastating. True to the story, our modern day Noah even created an opening on the very top of the ark for the release of the dove. Go for it. So what if the heavens do open? And the predictions come to pass. Could you escape a flood on this ark if it happens? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so either. <laughs> uh, I, no, I don't think so, no. What Johan is thinking is he'd like to take the Ark up the Thames next summer in advance of the Olympic Games in London. Lester, back to you. Janet, thanks, and let's hope there's not 40 days of rain ahead. <laughs> <laughs>